understatedly, well, it'll kind of balance out this guy. In Romans 16, Paul says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So we have Paul saying, mark them. In other words, let us know. Let us be able to tell the sheep, beware. That one over there, wolf. That's a wolf. Well, he's wearing a sheep outfit. Wolf. It's creating offenses to the doctrine. It is literally creating a disturbance of how we look at the word of God. It is creating a belittling of our confidence in the word of God. Eric Ludy, we just discovered this guy, conservative and passionate, preaching with some authority. But look at how young he is. Honestly, you know, I, we actually discovered this fellow is so young. How young is Thank he? Thank you very much. Sometimes he gets diaper rash. Ouch. But you know, oh. this fellow is so young. How young is he? Thank you very much. Uh, I actually met him once. He had Similac on his breath. I'm telling you. Oh, <clears throat> he's young. We have a generation where we're not allowed to mark anything. That's judgmental. We're not allowed to say, well, you know what, that's actually opposite of what the Word of God says. Well, that's your opinion. You can't be judgmental and say that that's wrong. Any, everyone can have their own opinion about the, what, what the Word of God says. You know what the Word of God says one thing? It doesn't say 20 things. It doesn't say 2,000 things. It says one. God doesn't stutter. He knows what he's saying. And it's up to us to get our ridiculous postmodern junk out of the way, the cultural entrappings, the social sensibilities, and the political correctness out of the way so we can allow God just to speak straight to us. He says it, and he means it. And he's meant it for 6,000 years ever since it began. He knows what he's doing, and he's not caught off guard with our culture, saying, oh no, what am I going to do with this culture? Oh no! I guess we need to change the word!